Greetings and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So there's still a huge war going on here between Lombardy and Umayyad. And I think I'll just uh, leave this war for now because uh, I could possibly send my troops to turn this around. But it's, it's kind of useless. They're only fighting for one county of Barcelona back here. And I honestly don't care because I do want to keep my troops in defense. I get about... Let's see, 4k at the moment, which is still decent. I can still get mercenaries because I want to keep uh, stay in defense against West Francia. He still has quite a bit of troops and he could uh, do a holy war against me or just uh, do a de jure claim. Because he does still hold West Francia and he has de jure claim on well, pretty much all of this, I guess. So that would be kind of bad. Also, in the meantime, Bavaria is part of my dynasty. So this dude unfortunately is my rival and he is actually fighting against Germany now to take over uh, this duchy back here so uh, that's nice and here's also Britain which is uh, very good uh, this guy back here unfortunately uh, is Lombard so that's unfortunate I suppose but oh well it is what it is at least they will be part of my dynasty that's a start and yeah let's continue um, oh, chance of getting strong. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, well, and the hunt is over. I won't give up. All that sort of stuff. Okay, oh. Well, okay, well, let's raise some troops back here. Oh, that's not a lot of troops. <laughs> I was kind of hoping there would be more. Um, let's raise these guys. Yeah, we just got annihilated, so... Yeah, he might still win. Yeah, okay, so that was fine. Yeah, we don't have a lot of troops from our Demesne. Well, I guess still about half, but that's not much. And we can't really do much at the moment. Let's disband everything that's not a retinue. Let's move these guys back. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Yumayat is gonna win this one. There's nothing much I can do about it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that is a, this is interesting. So, uh, he died. I was actually looking into that uh, just before I started this episode. He was quite old, but still, I, I didn't know he was uh, incapable. So... Uh, he did have uh, two children, two uh, sons, so this actually made things interesting, so I don't have a truce anymore, so I could go again on a holy war against one of these guys. Let's take a look. So, wow, well, this dude is already very old. Wait, this can't be his son. Uh, that's odd. Wait a minute, so this guy, King of Burgundy, um, back here. This guy became King of West Francia, back here, this and this. And then this guy must have been his brother or something. No, apparently not. How did he inherit that? He's not even part of the dynasty of Carling. So, alright, that's interesting. Let's take a look at the dynasties. So here we can see Price as well, over here. My dynasty, and all of this has been split up. Carling is just a shadow of its former self. It only has two kingdoms left. And yeah, so basically all of this is ripe for the taking. I don't need to wait for a for a, a truce. I also don't really need to defend my back anymore. These guys are severely diminished in power now. Especially seeing as this guy apparently took over um, well a big part of what used to be West Francia. It's uh, very interesting indeed. So, I'm just gonna let it play out for the time being because I just wasted pretty much, well, a big chunk of my troops. I got to get my retinue back to its former glory. And yeah, then we can see what we can do. The nice thing is that we have uh, multiple people on which we can declare war. So yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> I 
think soon enough the biggest problems will be Umayyad and possibly Lombardy. All of this is very shattered at the moment, although uh, a lot of these guys have claims on... No, he doesn't have any claims on anything, but these two have claims on each other's stuff, so... There will certainly be wars still, is this guy. He's also a Lollard, so that's very good. Oh, nice, more Catholics, excellent. Yeah, there's still a lot of Lollard back here. That should uh, be fixed soon. Lombardy is getting his ass kicked by Umayyad. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, if only he would... Where's the Pope? Oh, the Pope is back here. Uh, suiciding his troops against Umayyad. Alright. Well, honestly, if Lombardy banded together with the stack of the Pope, they could have handled it. He still has some troops everywhere. Let's see who's all at war. I think some other people joined in. But uh, it's not enough. Oh, and... Okay. And now the other king died after a period of illness. So now we got our nephew who is over there in Lombardy. And that means we got Bryce everywhere. That's awesome. So yeah, our dynasty is doing pretty well. Uh, we got alliances everywhere, I think. Yeah, with Lombardy and Bavaria. It's all very good. And this kid is only 12. Could we get you betrothed with anyone from back here? Uh, well, that would be kind of odd with our daughter. Uh, that doesn't really, that doesn't seem necessary. So, uh, yeah, let's just leave it as it is. Hopefully he's not stupid enough to get any matrilineal marriage with anyone outside of the dynasty. So, yeah, let's uh, continue. He's about to lose this war pretty badly. That'll be good. Because, well, then at least that war is gone and the Umayyad cannot attack me. I also don't border them, so they can't really do any holy wars against me, which is very good. So I'll be uh, staying clear of this area back here. In the meantime, I can try to take over whatever is back here and uh, possibly get strong enough to fight against Umayyad later on. Also, Bavaria might eventually take over a lot of what is uh, currently Germany. Uh, okay, our son, uh, our heir, be brave, or be just. Okay, let's take a look. Just stewardship, learning, more opinion, or brave. Also, opinion and martial. Let's get brave. We already have a lot of diplomacy, so I don't think I need chest. Wait, chest is stewardship. But, oh well, let's try and get brave. There we go, excellent. That's more martial, that's more troops, that's good. Though he has 15, his stats are actually terrible. Do I have any good on fortune builder? Uh, that's not great. We could send you off to some sort of a person with a good trait, if we have one. Skill Tactician, Fortune Builder, I guess we don't. And he might have touched. Yeah, this guy, the mayor. Let's send you off to my steward. For the last month, <laughs> apparently. Maybe you'll get Midas touched, I don't know. Wait, it's still a year. Yeah, it's still a year. Okay, I just uh, kind of um, confused June and July. That uh, can happen. <laughs> He's still gathering troops, apparently. Oh yeah, but we do have a new king now. He actually has a decent amount of troops now. Not sure where they all came from. I guess he because this dude has some other demesne. No, it isn't. He's getting a lot of troops from... And who's this? Um, oh, the account of uh, a lot of stuff in Normandy. Okay, that's interesting, I suppose. Um, West Francia in the revolts, West Francia, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, 
as you can see this is all a big mess oh and uh let's see flanders is independent that's interesting we could all these uh, small kingdoms small duchies around us that we can attack one by one and they are all heretics so we could just run them over if you want to all in one go let's see we're at 35 we actually still stand the chance to do all of that this could be an interesting couple of years a few decades we could take over most of all of this um oh whoa that's uh, <laughs> that's not something i want to do ignore him no uh, give him patronage what is this anyway famous writer yeah well that's do i have so many people in my court and vessels that's insane I still got a, a bit of money. I'm going to actually uh, buy a few things back here. I need to upgrade these things because they are so low. Uh, let's start with the capital first. I really would like a new holding here. Another barony, but it's so expensive. <laughs> Though I could perhaps put my steward in there to oversee construction. Hmm, not sure. Let's just upgrade these ones for now. Um, what's cheap? The barracks? Yeah, let's get some barracks back here. Um, now this guy might be upgrading his own stuff, I hope. He doesn't have any money. That's not good. Let's go to Kurnev. Let's get some... A keep, perhaps. Some uh, militia training ground. That'll do nice. And this thing can get some barracks okay that'll have to do for now i spent quite a bit of money although luckily i don't think i need to hire any mercenaries anytime soon because there's really no big threat around me i'm pretty much the biggest kingdom in uh well if we don't count lombardy in uh, most of this area so that's actually good mysterious jewish man abba i think you're swedish instead of jewish Oh, he's actually... Holy crap. He's good. Good intrigue. You'll be the new spy master. Fortunately, this mayor is going to have to move over. There we go. Jewish, Swedish person. You can go scheme in the capital. To make sure I don't get killed. Or something like that. Right, so... Where do we go? We got so many targets now. We got West Francia. We got... So we got West Francia, we got Middle Francia, we got Flanders. Um, that's a lot of potential wars, especially seeing as these are still all heretics. So, for example, we could. Come on, how to save? We could. Oh dear. Norman Revolt. Okay, I, I first want to take a look at this. So. Uh, leader of the Norman Revolt. You, unfortunately, are not, are not part of my dynasty. That's bad. And you are. I want to keep my dynasty in... Yeah, and you're married to my sister, so... I do hope that you got some allies. You should have. Maybe Valois is going to join you. I hope so. Although we do have more troops, but... This stack might get annihilated. Yeah, that's not good. Let's hope Falwa joins. Because there's nothing much I can do about this. If uh, these guys... Actually, he might win. If he can gather all these ones. Um, it will not escape me. <laughs> yeah, he, he might win. Although he does have a river crossing here. Oh, now not anymore. Okay. Uh, fourth return empty-handed. No one's are, is impressed by your failed adventure. Gain humble. The retainers are useless. Oh no, arbitrary. Hell no. Um. For how long? Oh, forever apparently. More piety. Uh, well, I guess it's it's better than arbitrary. Wait a minute. Oh no, wait. That's the other guy. 
Oh well, it could be worse. Right, but... Which wars are we gonna do? We could take over Flanders pretty easily. But I was gonna focus on taking over this area right here. We could take over Anjou and his Orléans. He is at war with who? Oh, someone is trying to claim West Francia. Burgundy and West Francia. Oh, against the revolt. Okay, well, that may complicate things. I might need to let this one play out. Because... I don't know. This guy has 1,000 troops. Um, he's got no troops. How many does Burgundy have? Not even sure where the hell Burgundy is. And I mean his capital. I think it's back here. No, let's just find him this way. He's supposed to be somewhere around here. Uh, you have no troops whatsoever. So actually this dude is probably stronger than both of them together. That's not good. Wow. France is a mess. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know where to start. Usually it's uh, very easy. Attack West Francia and just take a, the duchy. Hmm. What's all of this now? This guy apparently has a revolt as well. He actually has a decent amount of troops. He might still become a threat eventually. Middle Francia. Probably because he's so so good at martial. But he's old. Oh, the old wound has healed. Excellent. No more wounded and we are scarred. More prestige. Excellent. Okay, so uh, we actually have a decent amount of levy from our de Mesne. Unmarried heir. Oh, and our son is 16. He has a decent stewardship. Might have touched. Excellent. So it actually were, uh, paid off to send them one year to the steward. He's might have touched. That's very good. He's a martial and diplomacy as a okay ish. <laughs> so, yeah, who do we marry off to? Uh, Duchess of Salerno. No, maybe not. Uh, Midas Touch, Twin, Proud, Shy. She's actually pretty good. Got a, a good stewardship. Terrible Marshal. Can I find someone in between? Good Marshal, terrible stewardship. It's always difficult to, fight the right, to find the right one. This one seems to be the best at both. And also has some diplomacy, uh, unyielding, brilliant strategist. She has 36 though. Arbitrary. It's possible. Do we have any geniuses? Uh, whoa. This person hates me, but she is genius, honest, eight, and already has better stats than me. <laughs> She is orthodox though, so that may not be ideal. She is strong. She's actually pretty good as well. Lombard of Genoa. I might marry her. She might have some decent stats once she becomes 18. So yeah, let's let's do that. I don't really need to look into alliances all that much because for the moment I have uh, alliances because of dynasty and that's totally fine. Accept, of course you accept. Right, so where do we go from here? Uh, Toulouse is also independent, I think. Lombardy is still fighting Denmark. Oh, horrible. Lombard in Amiens, that's over here. That's not good. Let's hope we can fight back. She isn't lowered, right? No. Okay. So. Yeah, let's just go for it. We'll start off with Anjou. Because it seems to be something that I wanted to take for a long time. But it was so small and insignificant. But now it seems to be just right. So we'll take over Anjou from... This dude? Oh, that's actually part of his own... Wait, this is another guy? No, this is the same guy. It's kind of confusing. So... Yeah, let's just take it. He still has plenty of stuff that I can siege. 
and that'll be his own holding, so yeah. He shouldn't have any decent allies except for Burgundy. So we will take over Anjou. That'll do. I should have plenty of troops even now, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can call Lombardy and Bavaria into war. No, only Lombardy. But we don't need Lombardy. Let's get all of these guys. Let's assemble them. Yeah, let's just go straight for Anjou. He doesn't have any troops anyway, I think. Oh, he actually has 3,000 troops. Okay. I didn't know that. Let's, uh, let's be cautious. Let's actually get all the vessels as well. Gotta make sure that these guys make it. Okay, now let's see what happens. I should have a, a lot more troops. Twice as much as he does. So that should not be a problem. He might call in Burgundy. He doesn't. He might not even be able to call in Burgundy. So... Oh, great. Well, okay, let's... Let's merge these guys. Let's split them in half. Let's split these in half. Let's send those guys to Lyon. Impulsive. Uh, no. <laughs> no arbitrary. Oh, they actually stayed. Who is this? Oh, it's an army. Someone is defending. No, wait, that's because of... I don't know. What is he doing here? Uh, who are you? No, you're just uh, raiding. Alright, fair enough. I guess I should uh, assemble everything. Let's merge these. Let's move them over to Anjou. We should be fine. He's got some troops, but not enough. Let's get this little stack over here, see if we can crush these guys. Alright, auto save. Now let's send this little stack this way and then we should be able to destroy him. Because he had to cancel his order and... Yeah, there we go. So it might still be tricky to get enough war score for all of this. Uh, good, more money. Now what else is happening? Oh, we got some guys back here. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna send these troops to handle that. I'm gonna send these guys back to the main army. Oh yeah, also I forgot. In the meantime, I should be getting a mustache. It didn't work last time, but now it should work. Let's see. Alright, I guess this is the best one. There we go. We got a mustache, as we should. Oh, they ran away. Oh, we got a little stack here. We can kill those. They're, they aren't running away. They are. I do have to. Wait, that's odd. Um, now this war score is going up again. So, yeah, Lombardy was about to lose this one, and apparently he didn't. He still has an army. And what about Yumayat? Yumayat is having a revolt, apparently. But uh, the revolt doesn't seem to be very impressive. Alright, let's continue. Uh, who is this? Raiders. Oh well, let's uh, crush them. They're in our land. And then we move back up. Oh, stack. Glad I noticed that. Oh wait, it's... <laughs> wait, is Flanders against me as well? That doesn't make sense. It's only saying about 600 from West Francia. But uh, 
It is very confusing that there's 3000 in red because there's only about 600 of these that are my enemy. That's very confusing. See? That's a lot less threatening now. Alright, those guys are dead. Let's send them up. I guess he's gonna go fight against the rebels instead of my army. Oh, and... Lombardy is crushing Denmark. That's good. And the wife is pregnant. Well, let's hope that it's not a son. How much troops does he have? 2,000. That's not much. Let's send these guys to Maine. Let's send them this way. Uh, be sure that can marry. Uh, I guess that's my heir. Alright, send it off. Ooh, she actually has a lot of stewardship. That's going to be interesting. And she is strong. That was a uh, very good. And a decent marshal. So my heir shouldn't have too much problems. We're about to finish this. Um, let's split the stack. And let's split this stack. Let's send these guys up. So that we have... Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Flanders is not my enemy, right? It's uh, it's the same stack as before. This could be interesting. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to send these guys in as well. To make sure that we have more troops. Because I'm not sure why he is uh, trying to attack. Yeah, okay. So he does have that many troops. I am reinforcing... Hopefully it's enough to win. I'm going to send another stack in. Just to be safe. And let's see the 16th. That's a long time from now. Because this could still go bad. No, we actually won. For some reason Flanders actually attacked me. That's odd. Um, we captured some people. Excellent. And we got a bunch of score from all of that. Right. Now let's merge, uh, luckily we have enough troops to siege all of that. Let's merge these guys and let's split them in half. And let's send these guys to chase the French. Chase, chase, wow. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Now he's going this way. Oh, we don't have enough troops to siege apparently. Oh well, we'll be back shortly. After we destroy all of these guys. Well, Flanders, if you want to attack me, I will uh, soon enough take over your uh, duchy anyway. So, oh, he's sending in more troops. That's fine by me. My, uh, one of my sons, I guess my second son, uh, Chase Temperate. Yeah, let's get the green ones. He's chased. That's actually good, I think. <laughs> Got a bunch of raiders there. Let's go and crush them with this army. They can't really do much anyway. Because they were... Ooh, is this guy gonna reinforce? He might, but that's not gonna do much. It's only gonna give me a lot more war score. That we captured someone. I guess we'll, ba we'll barely have to siege anything during this war. We're pretty much killing them all. But yeah, Lombardy is actually turning this war around on his own. And who's this? Oh crap, another son. <laughs> That's so bad. I think I'll have to put a few of those in, in bishoprics, honestly. Otherwise it's gonna be... A mess. Well, wait, wait. Let's end it. Okay, that's that was odd. I don't really know what exactly happened. Someone joined the war, and something ended. I don't know anymore. We still got a little stack back here. Let's send them off. We could uh, crush them. 
Got victory? Okay, well... Well, let's crush them anyway. Before we make peace. Wait, he's going this way. Because that might make it so that these... That this revolt can uh, win. And if they do, then we got a new ruler in West Francia. And that means I can wage war again. <laughs> Oh, he went this way. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, he's going this way. Let's slowly eradicate his army. What does he have left? I think that's pretty much it. Okay, I guess that's fine. So, how is this other war going? He is losing this one for now. So, let's just offer peace. Let's enforce demands. We get Anjou. That's excellent. Now we got a huge Demesne again. Let's send our troops home. I guess these guys are home. Let's disband. Uh, we're still at war with Umayyad, but they are far away. They're actually still fighting here at Barcelona. Let's disband these guys as well. Oh, no, wait. Alright, that's my retinue, I suppose. Let's send them to the capital. Then we're gonna wait for these ones to arrive. And we disband you. Okay, well, we got another duchy, and Brittany is getting huge. And we still got a lot of stuff that we can conquer. We can uh, take over Flanders if we want to. We actually totally annihilated him earlier. And he is still a heretic. And we can also attack these guys, I think, for, for a bunch of stuff. Although he is a little bit more powerful than the others, so we're going to have to uh, yeah, be cautious about that. Anyway, I guess I will be ending the episode right here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.